we will discuss uh, under the following heading definition overview of anemia causes of anemia classification and dietary management the definition comprises of that the anemia from the greek word vacua and hemia meaning without blood is a deficiency of red blood cells and hemoglobin and means abnormal or absent emia means blood so abnormal blood which is on the lower side who definition is a condition in which the hemoglobin content of the blood is lower than normal as a result of as a, as a result of uh, Okay. is a condition uh, in which the hemoglobin content of the blood is lower than normal as a result of deficiency of one or more essential nutrients regardless of the cause of such deficiency anemia refers to a state in which the level of hemoglobin in the blood is below the reference range approximate for age and sex according to who worldwide prevalence is over 30% of the world population are anemic and many due to iron deficiency in developing countries every second pregnant woman and about 40% of the preschool children are estimated to be anemic 40% in young children 50% of the pregnant women and 35% of non pregnant women affected 18% of only the adult male the prevalence of anemia in nepal was that the anemia affects 35% of all women five in nepal demonstrated a huge reduction in anemia prevalence among women hope that main cause was hookworm infestation particularly the driver of the iron deficiency in anemia in nepal 73% were anemic 88% were anemic cases were due to iron deficiency and uh, this is uh, the diagrammatic representation of anemia classification according to mcv the causes of anemia they are the decreased or ineffective mineral production lack of iron vitamin b12 or folate hypoplasia myelodysplasia then invasion by the malignant cells uh, renal failure or the anemia of the chronic disease normal marrow production but increase the removal of the cells that is the blood loss hemolysis and hypersuptinism the patient uh, history dietary habit medication possible exposure to chemicals or toxins the description and duration of the symptoms the tiredness or muscle fatigue or weakness headache and with dizziness and vertigo dyspnea the from the exertion gi problems hidden signs of the blood loss such as hematuria or the black stools the physical examination that is the general finding might include hepato or splenomegaly heart abnormality skin pallor specific findings may help to establish the underlying cause in b12 deficiency there may be signs of malnutrition and neurological changes in iron deficiency there may be severe pallor a smooth tongue and uh, esophageal valves in hemolytic anemia there may be jaundice due to the increased level of bilirubin from increased uh, rbc's uh, destruction now it suggested criteria by the who for diagnosis of anemia using uh, hemoglobin and hematocrit 
determinations. Now, the, the child from 6 to 59 months, HB below 11 grams percent, that is anemia, or PCV 33 percent, or a ch child from 5 to 11 years, HB that should be 11.5 grams percent, and PCV that should be 34. If it is below, then it is labeled as anemia. Then the children between 12 to 14 years of age, HB below 12 and PCV below 36 will declare anemia. WHO classification of anemia severity that is moderate, severe and very severe. In moderate, the HB is 7 to 10.9. Hematocrit is 24 to 37%. In severe, the HB level is 4.6 to 9 grams percent. And the hematocrit level is 13 to 23%. In very severe anemia, the HB is uh, less than 4 grams percent and hematocrit is less than 13 percent. Similarly, the other graph that is hemoglobin level defining uh, the anemia, it, it is given in detail in this graph. The iron deficiency anemia, the amount of total iron in the body that is 3 to 5 grams percent. Out of this 50 to 75 percent hemoglobin, that is 1 gram hemoglobin contains 3.34 milligrams iron. Similarly, the deficiency of the iron results in iron deficiency anemia, also known as nutritional anemia. And uh, this is the diagrammatic representations of the RBCs in iron deficiency anemias showing normal amount of red blood cells. This is the microscopic view of the blood sample of anemic patient showing low level of RBCs. That is on the right side, that is abnormal and anemic. The iron deficiency anemia comprises of the clinical features which are most common is the pallor. Second one is the inflammation of the tongue glossitis then chelitis, that is inflammation, and fissures of the lips, angular stomatitis, and the sensitivity to cold, weakness and fatigue. Diagnostic studies are CBC. Iron studies, uh, diagnostic are the iron levels, total iron binding capacity, and sedum hydrogen level. The endoscopy and clonoscopy can also help. More signs and symptoms of anemia, you can see the different uh, diagrams and will find the pyelonychia, the pallor in the hands, the clubbing, and uh, then you will see the lower palpebral conjunctiva you will find that uh, the, there is pallor showing the anemia. Then uh, inadequate intake of iron, poor diet, poverty, ignorance, inadequate folate, vitamin C intake and uh, fed diets. The absorption, poor bioavailability or absorption, that is absorption only 5%, poor absorption less, non-heme iron, ferric iron, that is less vitamin C, less MPF, inhibitors, phytates, oxalates, fiber, etc. The excess tea, that is coffee, tannins, eggs, phosphates, milk, which is calcium, malabsorption and disorders of the small intestine, alcoholic and smokers, 
certain drugs, medications, and quite uh, increased uh, demand of the iron. All women of productive age they require this thing. The period of rapid growth, like infancy, the childhood, adolescence, they also require the extra amount of iron. The normal basal loss, which is one milligram per day, men say repeated frequency pregnancies, then the intestinal worms, especially the hook worm infestation and other soil transmitted element eggs, peptic ulcers, bleeding piles, malaria, TB, accident, traumas, and uh, the surgery. Anemia can result into premature childbirth and increased uh, neonatal deaths. Increased risk of infant and maternal mortality. Individuals with uh, uh, iron deficiency anemia are more prone to infections. The effects of iron deficiency can be seen in three important areas. Pregnancy and period of growth, infections, and uh, the work capacity. Factors that affect the iron absorption are increased uh, absorption, high body demand for RBCs, that is blood loss, high altitude, physical training, and uh, the low body stores of iron, heme iron in the food, meat protein factor, vitamin C intake, and the gastric acidity. The factors that decrease the absorption are low need for iron, that is high level of storage iron, phytic acid in whole grains and uh, legumes, oxalic acid in leafy vegetables, polyphenols in tea, coffee and wine, and uh, oregano. Reduced gastric acidity, excessive intake of other minerals, that is zinc, magnesium, and calcium. The management comprises of the collaborative care, the treatment of underlying disease, that is, or the problem. Replacing the iron with the diet or the drug therapy, that is iron replacement, oral iron, that is theosol, dexferum, etc absorbed best in the acidic environment, GI effects, parental iron, intramuscular or IV, less desirable than paroral. The iron deficiency anemia management comprises of the diet counseling, that is food rich in iron, provide periods of rest, supplemental iron, discuss the diagnostic studies, Iron therapy for two to three months after the hemoglobin level returns to normal. This is the dosage schedule for iron supplementation to prevent iron deficiency anemia. This is WHO chart and you can see to it. Then uh, this is another chart according to the age that is uh, seven to 12 months the level should be 11 grams per cent. In female, this is also 11. And then the children from one to three years, the level required for iron deficiency anemia, they all are given in this chart. The guidelines for the oral iron and folate therapy to treat severe anemia, that is age group, dose and duration. The age is less than two years, dose is 25 milligram iron plus 100 to 400 microgram folic acid daily for three months. From two to 12 years, 60 milligram iron plus 400 microgram folic acid daily for three months. Adolescents, 120 milligram iron plus 400 microgram folic acid daily for three months. After completion, completing uh, the three months of therapeutic supplementation, 
and uh, the infant should continue the preventive supplementing regimen. The children with the coarser core or marasma should be assumed to be severely anemic. However, oral iron supplementation should be delayed until the child regains appetite and starts gaining weight, usually after 14 days. Dietary sources of the iron, they are heme iron and non-heme iron are the two forms of the dietary form. The heme iron is better absorbed, 20 to 30 percent, found in liver, meat, poultry, fish. Non-heme iron, that is 1 to 10 percent absorption in vegetable food, egg, cereals, green leafy vegetables, legumes, nuts, jaggery and dry fruits, bioavailability of non-heme iron is poor. In some areas, significant amount of the iron may be derived, obtained from foods cooked in iron foods. The food fortification aid from the Ministry of Health and Population has also started home fortification programs in Nepal with multiple micronutrient uh, powders under the World Health Organization guidelines. This doesn't ask for a change in food habits as the powders are sprinkled on the food and the children usually eat. This has also helped a timely initiation of complementary foods. This program has targeted children completing six months of age Simultaneously, the second anemia control plan that is being formulated and is uh, just uh, going on in the routine scheme. The megaloblastic anemia is characterized by large RBCs which are fragile and easily destroyed. Commonly forms of the megaloblastic anemia, they are number one, cobalamin deficiency, Number two, folic acid deficiency. This picture shows large, dense, oversized RBCs that are seen in megaloblastic anemia. Cobalamin deficiency, formerly known as pernicious anemia, vitamin B12 is an important water soluble vitamin. The intrinsic factor is required for cobalamin absorption. Causes of the cobalamin deficiency, they could be gastric mucosa not secreting uh, enough IF. The GI surgery, loss of uh, IF secreting gastric mucosal cell, long term use of H2 histamine receptor blockers, cause atrophy or loss of the gastric mucosa then the nutritional deficiency can also be the cause of cobalamin deficiency. The hereditary defects of cobalamin utilization. Clinical manifestations could be the general symptoms of anemia, sore tongue, anorexia, weakness, anesthesia of the feet and hand, altered thought processes, Confusions leading to dementia. The RBCs, they appear large, abnormal shaped. Structure contributes to erythrocyte destruction. Shilling test, a medical investigation used for patients with the vitamin B12 deficiency. The purpose of the test is to determine if the patient has pernicious anemia. Collaborative uh, care is that the parental administration of cobalamin increase the dietary cobalamin doesn't correct the anemia. Still important to emphasize adequate dietary intake, intranasal form of uh, cyanocobalamin that is uh, nascobal is available. High dose oral cobalamin and SL cobalamin can use can be used. Folic acid deficiency also causes megaloblastic anemia, RBCs that are large and fewer in number. If folic acid required for RBC formation and maturation, 
that is also deficient and causes the poor dietary intake, malabsorption syndrome, the drugs that inhibit absorption, and alcohol abuse, and the hemodialysis. The folic acid deficiency comprises of the clinical manifestations which are similar to those of bilamine deficiency. In serious onset, progress is slow, the absence of neurological problems and are treated by folate replacement therapy, encourage the patient to eat foods with large amounts of folic acid, leafy green vegetables, liver, mushrooms, oatmeal, peanut butter, red beans, then thalassemia, that is the, the etiology is autosomal recessive genetic disorder of inadequate production of normal hemoglobin found in Mediterranean ethnic groups. Clinical manifestations are asymptomatic, that is major retardation, that is light setting. There is splenomegaly and fetomegaly. No specific drug or diet are effective in treating the thalassemia. The thalassemia minor, the body adapts to decreased HB and the thalassemia major, blood transfusion with IV death, peroxamine used to remove the excess iron from the body. Anemia of chronic disease, the underproduction of RBCs, shortening of RBC survival, second most common cause of anemia after iron deficiency anemia, and the general develops after, generally develops after one to two months of sustained disease, and the causes are the impaired renal function, chronic inflammatory, infectious or malignant disease, chronic liver disease, folic acid deficiencies, splenomegaly, and hepatitis. The etiology of aplastic anemia could be low incidence affecting four of every one million persons manageable with the erythropoietin or blood transfusion and can be a critical condition and uh, it could be due to hemorrhage, sepsis. The clinical manifestations could be gradual development, symptoms caused by suppression of any or all bone marrow elements. There could be general manifestations of anemia, fatigue, dyspnea, pale skin, frequent or prolonged infection, unexplained or easy bruising, nosebleed and bleeding gums, prolonged bleeding from the cuts, dizziness and headaches. The treatment could be identifying the cause, blood transfusions, antibiotics, immunosuppressants, neoral and sandy immune, corticosteroids with the name of medrol or solomedrol, bone marrow stimulants that is filagrase stim with the, the general name of neurocoyogen. Then is the apoatin alpha, its other name could be apogen or propate. The bone marrow transplant is the ultimate answer. Anemia is caused by blood loss. They could be acute blood loss or chronic blood loss. Acute uh, blood loss results of sudden hemorrhage, trauma, surgery, vascular disruption, collaborative care, that is replacement by blood volume, identifying the source of hemorrhage, stopping the blood loss, chronic blood loss, the source sees and the symptoms, they could be similar to iron deficiency anemia, GI bleeding, hemorrhoids, menstrual blood loss, diagnostic studies uh, identifying the source, stopping the bleeding, collaborative care, supplementing iron. The anemia caused by increased uh, erythrocyte destruction, 
that is hemolytic anemia sickle cell disease acquired hemolytic anemia and hemochromatosis polycythemia the hemolytic anemia is the destruction or hemolysis of rbcs at a rate that exceeds the production the third major cause of anemia the intrinsic hemolytic anemia that is abnormal hemoglobin enzyme deficiency g6pd deficiencies rbc membrane abnormalities extrinsic hemolytic anemia normal rbcs and uh, dem damaged by external factors that is liver spleen toxins or the mechanical injury that is heart valves they can cause hemolytic anemia now the this is sequence of events in hemolysis acquired hemolytic anemia is the causes could be medications infections manifestations could be that uh, the, there could be anemia and with the complication of accumulation of hemoglobin molecules can obstruct the renal tubules causing tubular necrosis the treatment is eliminating the causative agent sickle cell anemia first described in chicago 1910 by james eric for inherited condition that results in a decrease in the ability of rbc to carry oxygen throughout the body a serious condition in which rbcs can become sicker shape that is normal red cells are smooth and round they remove easily through the blood vessels to carry oxygen to all parts of the body the sickle shaped cells do not move easily through blood they are stiff and sticky and tend to form clumps and get stuck in blood vessels the clumps of the sickle cell block the blood flow in the blood vessel that lead to the limbs and organs block the blood vessels can cause pain serious infection and organ damage the normal and sickle red blood cells in the blood vessels you can see in these diagrams this is the genetic pedigrees and uh, signs and symptoms individual signs and symptoms vary some have mild uh, symptoms others have very severe symptoms and may be hospitalized for treatment present at birth many infants don't show signs until after 4 months of age anemia causing the fatigue tiredness pale skin nail beds jaundice and shortness of breath sickle cell crisis sudden episodic pain throughout the body common sites are bone lungs abdomen and joints lack of blood flow can cause pain and organ damage the sickle is uh, the shape like dranti and they are not biconcave which are moving in the normal blood so they are just causing thrombosis and diff different problems the medical complications they can be pain episodes strokes increased infections leg ulcers the bone damage yellow eyes jaundice early gallstones lung blockage kidney damage and the loss of blood water in urine painful reactions or the blood blockade in the spleen or liver the eye damage low rbcs and delayed growth the treatment could be taking the folic acid daily to help make new rbcs drinking plenty of water 8 to 10 glasses identify what can trigger the crisis such as stress avoid extremes of the hot and cold maintain health lifestyle eating habits and regular medical checkup and the treatment are important sideroblastic anemias are a group of heterogeneous disorders 
produced a common defect failure to cause iron synthesis despite the availability of fatty catalyst and the disease that interfere with the production of heme may be microcytic and hypochromic it is a hereditary x linked acquired the, the drugs chloramphenicol or inh heavy metals and chemo therapeutic agents they can cause this one non specific uh, sign thank you